This is a video for those of you who are considering a career in procurement consulting. Rather than giving you abstract advice, let me share a couple of real life stories of how I became a procurement consultant. Let's get started. I didn't really know much about procurement, but I vaguely remember that sometime around 1992, Wolfgang, a peer in my PhD program, told me about Ignacio Lopez and what he was doing at General Motors. After a detour in the food industry, I was scheduled to start as a consultant on January 1st, 1995. Over the Christmas holidays, prior to joining, I read one book, and this is probably the best business book that I've ever read. And it was The Machine That Changed the World. In a nutshell, it outlines how Japanese car makers were outcompeting GM, Ford, and Chrysler in terms of price and quality. Little did I know that just a couple of weeks later, I would work on a project at Mercedes-Benz. Having read the machine that changed the world would come so extremely handy as it helped me to have a comprehensive view on the challenges of the entire automotive industry. And this is my first recommendation to you. Make sure to read relevant books. After completing my onboarding training, I was assigned to a procurement project at Mercedes-Benz. Again, I didn't know anything about procurement at that point in time. But I was a cool project leader, Martin, who had just returned from a similar project in Brazil. Martin kind of took me under his wings and he taught me the basics of procurement. And this is my second recommendation to you. Find a colleague who is a couple of years ahead of you and learn from her. On the project, I was extremely lucky. There were a couple of super senior guys who 10 years prior had done the very first global sourcing project at General Motors with Ignacio Lopez. Hans, a Dutchman, was really patient with me and explained the fine details of procurement to me. Richard, on the other hand, led me into his secret of knowing everything about the automotive industry. Just read the Financial Times. So this is my third recommendation to you. Value the wisdom of the generation that came before you and be grateful if experts like Hans and Richard are willing to spend time with you. There were lots of really nice people on the team, but one stood out. Oliver was a really charismatic guy and him and I would become good friends. We made a habit of giving each other feedback every evening. This type of horizontal feedback was non-threatening as it had no implication on career development or bonus. And I learned so much from Oliver and I hope that he also learned a little bit from me. So this is my fourth recommendation to you. Trust your peers and open up to them. And finally, after initially feeling intimidated and overwhelmed, it dawned on me that a lot of what I saw was just common sense and logical thinking, paired with a dose of psychology. While it worked impressively well, I spotted areas of improvement and I started to innovate. So this is my fifth recommendation to you. Keep on pushing the envelope and leave your mark on the field. Originally, I wanted to do this video with my friend and colleague Nino Mori but he was held up by the escalating travel restrictions in Europe. And now that I think of it, and if you who are watching this video like it, we could even do a mini-series in which I let some of my colleagues share how they got into procurement consulting. So in the comments down below, or by hitting the like button, let me know if you would like to see this mini-series. Thank you for watching, and I see you in the next one. Bye!